She is six years old, an infant two student, and now Solange Mangandib goes down in the history books as the youngest person to conquer Belize's second highest point, Victoria Peak. You made it! Yes! You happy? Yes! Huh? Yes! Okay. Her grueling four-day journey up the 3,670 feet high mountain began just after 4 o'clock last Wednesday with her parents and a group from the Belize Institute of Search and Rescue. Solange's father, Miguel, said preparations began a month in advance. We had to plan out this, this trip to Victoria Peak for, for quite some miles with a bizarre group, the Belize Search and Rescue um, team. Um, we had to get special per permission because of her age. We finally got through with the permission and we had to do it as quick as possible because the rainy season is coming. Um, as soon as we got the go ahead, we planned it very carefully, um, take our safety protocols as, as we could have. Um, I'm, I'm so happy what I can say. I'm so happy with the Bizarre group that they did very, very well. Um, again, yeah, we, we knew she was in shape. Uh, she took the challenge. Like a pro. This brave endeavor is not the first time that Solange has triumphed over a mighty mountain. When she was only four years old, her father took her on a trip to Mount Massey, where she fell in love with nature and hiking. We ended up planning a trip a couple of years ago when she was four to uh, Mount Massey. You know, this is a difficult uh, trek to take. Um, there's no, there's no trails. There's no, no, no. Um, you pretty much have to go on your own with your GPS and, and your maps. So we did it without. Even her um, having enough um, training, put it that way, or workout, and she made it all the way up. I mean, we had to take her up on our backs for, for some time because she was four at then. You know. After that, um, she started to, to, to grow up in the sports um, business, you could call it that way. Solange, who was a bit camera shy, spoke to us about her favorite part persevering through the lush emerald green forest, which she described as enchanting. I am set to the eggs in a nest. I see two giant eggs, and we made a ship. We made a ship and parrots, and Wally, Wally animals, crickets, like and fireflies. It? They had mass and big trees then they had like a green thing all the way at the top how you get to the top climbing with a rope miguel says this magnificent milestone would not have been possible without his wife marlene oriano who got solange ready for the cruel climb her mom she's the one that prepared her physically well, mentally she had that already, but physically she, she's the one that did all the training with her uh, for the last, put it, five months. Because okay. it's not an easy thing. She likes to run also. She, used to, she goes every other day to, you know, Bullet Tree Files and back home, which is probably five kilometers of, of, of running and trotting. Um, she gets in shape. After four days of trekking through the pristine forest of the Coxcomb Basin Reserve, Miguel says he was extremely proud to see his daughter make history. From the day we got the email on the uh, approval, we were super happy because we know she ha she got it. So there there was no doubt, and I mean history history goes she goes goes down in the history books, and I am a super proud dad. We came out every day at four o'clock in the morning to avoid the heat. Um, you know, dehydration, that's one of the most uh, important uh, thing to do, avoid de um, dehydration. Um, the difficult part for her was uh, the steep climbings. We had to like push her a little bit, but I mean, she still was on the ground. We never ever put her in our back to this, on this trip. It was super cool, so yeah. Solange's eyes are now locked in on conquering the highest point in Belize, Doyle's Delight. What do you want the next hike to be? How about the biggest hike? The biggest mountain? The biggest mountain. So you want to do those the light? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Reporting for Love News, I am Vigil Alvarez.